Hello, I'm Dr. Nathan Way, and I'm a board-certified rheumatologist and expert in regenerative medicine, which is the uh, use of um, stem cells to heal arthritis and restore normal cartilage and soft tissue um, uh, areas such as the tendons and ligaments and so on and so forth. Today's episode is about uh, cartilage repair treatment options. Osteoarthritis is a disease of what is termed hyaline cartilage, which is the tough gristle that caps the ends of long bones inside a joint. Since cartilage has no nerve or uh, blood supply, uh, no nerves or blood vessels, uh, the capacity to repair itself is, is really minimal. There have been a number of procedures uh, reported in the literature that have been performed in order to repair damaged uh, cartilage. Uh, for example, uh, microfracture has been touted as a popular option for localized cartilage defects. And these defects have to be relatively uh, small. And uh, generally, this is done in uh, younger people. The theory is that by breaking through cartilage and bone and by fracturing it, um, and uh, openings are created for mesenchymal stem cells to escape uh, from the, uh, the bone marrow into the joint with subsequent uh, repair of cartilage uh, defects. And this has pr primarily been done inside the knee. And it uh, has been shown that mesenchymal stem cells uh, from bone marrow have the ability uh, to differentiate into cartilage and bone. So uh, the theory uh, seems to, to, to be a good one. Uh, autologous cartilage plugs uh, are another option. And these are plugs of cartilage uh, and bone that are taken from uh, non-weight-bearing areas of a joint, say uh, of the knee, the intercondylar notch um, of the knee, which is a, a non-weight-bearing area. And then this plug is, is actually plugged into the cartilage defect in the weight-bearing area. Autologous chondrocyte implantation is another procedure uh, where cartilage cells are removed uh, from the patient. Um, then they're cultured in a laboratory for a, a couple of weeks and then reimplanted back into the uh, injured knee underneath a thin membrane um, in the cartilage defect. The patient um, is not allowed to uh, bear weight for at least uh, six months, I believe it is. It's several months. And all of these procedures that I've described have had mixed uh, reviews uh, since controlled studies are difficult to, um, to do. And the actual success rate is hard to determine. None of these procedures has been shown to be effective for osteoarthritis. Um, one option that does appear to have promise is the use of mesenchymal uh, stem cells along with uh, growth factors and uh, biomatrix uh, materials uh, administered using a combination of ultrasound as well as uh, arthroscopic guidance. Well, that's it for today. Um, thanks for watching. What I'd like you to do now is just below this video, there's a button that says click here. I want you to uh, go ahead and click on it. And what that'll do is send you to a page where you can sign up to get more free videos, more free information, uh, more free, a lot of different things uh, that'll help you understand stem cells better. And uh, thanks again for watching. This is uh, Dr. Nathan Way.